Generative design is a rapidly growing field that has the potential to revolutionize the architecture, engineering, and construction AEC, industry. Generative design uses artificial intelligence I, and machine learning ML, to create designs that are optimized for specific criteria, such as performance, cost, and sustainability. In the AEC industry, Generative design can be used to improve the design of buildings, bridges, roads, and other structures. It can also be used to optimize the construction process, resulting in shorter project timelines and lower costs. Here are 15 techniques that are currently being used in generative design in the AEC industry. One. Genetic algorithms. Genetic algorithms are a type of evolutionary algorithm that uses natural selection to find optimal solutions. 2. Particle swarm optimization. Particle swarm optimization is another type of evolutionary algorithm that uses the movement of particles to find optimal solutions. 3. Simulated annealing. Simulated annealing is a metaheuristic algorithm that uses simulated heat to find optimal solutions. 4. Bayesian optimization. Bayesian optimization is a sequential model-based optimization algorithm that uses Bayesian statistics to find optimal solutions. 5. Decision trees. Decision trees are a type of machine learning algorithm that can be used to create models that can make predictions. 6. Random forests. Random forests are a type of ensemble learning algorithm that uses multiple decision trees to make predictions. 7. Neural networks. Neural networks are a type of machine learning algorithm that can be used to create models that can learn from data. 8. Deep learning. Deep learning is a type of machine learning that uses artificial neural networks to learn from data. 9. Computer-Aided Design CAD, CAD software is used to create 3D models of buildings, bridges, roads, and other structures. 10. Building Information Modeling BIM, BIM is a process that uses 3D models to capture and manage information about a building or structure. 11. Simulation Simulation software can be used to test the performance of designs and to identify potential problems. 12. Optimization. Optimization software can be used to find the best possible solution for a given set of criteria. 13. Prototyping. Prototyping is the process of creating physical models of designs. 14. 3D printing. 3D printing is a process that can be used to create physical objects from digital models. 15. Construction. Construction is the process of building structures. Benefits of generative design in AEC construction. Generative design offers a number of benefits for the AEC industry, including 1. Improved design. Generative design can be used to create designs that are optimized for specific criteria, such as performance, cost, and sustainability. 2. Reduced costs. Generative design can help to reduce costs by eliminating the need for trial and error. 3. Increased efficiency. Generative design can help to increase efficiency by automating the design process. 4. Improved sustainability. Generative design can help to improve sustainability by creating designs that are more energy efficient and environmentally friendly. Challenges of generative design in AEC construction. Despite the benefits of generative design, there are a number of challenges that need to be addressed before it can be widely adopted in the AEC industry. These challenges include 1. High cost. Generative design software is often expensive. 2. Lack of expertise. There is a lack of expertise in generative design in the AEC industry. 3. Data requirements. Generative design requires large amounts of data. 4. Computational time. 
Generative design can be computationally expensive. Conclusion. Generative design is a promising new technology that has the potential to revolutionize the AEC industry. However, there are a number of challenges that need to be addressed before it can be widely adopted. As these challenges are overcome, generative design is likely to play an increasingly important role in the design and construction of buildings, bridges, roads, and other structures. Thanks for watching.